Hello everyone, so I just woke up to a bunch of ignorant comments on my, um, on the sheep rescue video. I made that sheep rescue video the morning, the morning after the rescue. So people, I'm, I'm going to address some of these comments from experts because everyone thinks they're an expert in these situations. It's a tough situation. Uh, me and Taryn, very upset about it. Um... But everyone wants to rub salt in the wound in the morning on the video, acting like they know what they're talking about. Now, I want to. I just literally woke up, grabbed my phone, and I'm I'm in the car still. See, see this, see this is the car that we rescued Joey in. This is what what's in the car. There was actually more stuff. I've taken some stuff out. Um, we were driving to go do activism, basically, and that's when we seen the sheep on her side. Um, Everyone's saying to me, oh, Joey, I can't believe you left that mother to die in the rain. Like I wanted to leave that mother to die in the rain. Okay. They say, why don't you bring her in the car? Why didn't, why didn't you put, why didn't you put that, that mother in the car, Joey? You don't care about her, do you? Like you sicken me. You sicken me. Unfollow me. Unfollow me. I, I don't want you uh, following my work anymore. You, you can you can get out of it. I can't believe you would be so ignorant. Like, this is the car, okay? One, this is the car we used. Two, all right, Tarion weighs about 40 kilos. She's only little, okay? People say, what, the cameraman help? What was, what was, what was Tarion supposed to do? Like, the sheep couldn't even stand up there was a barbed wire fence, okay, was I supposed to drive over the fence, knock it down, um, <laughs> you know, like, I, I wouldn't have been, been, there was a big ditch between the fence and the car anyway, like, a, the car would have got bogged and we would have been stuck there, <clears throat> so, getting the sheep in the car wasn't an option, okay, that wasn't an option, I called, uh, Freedom Hill immediately and said, what do I do? What do I do? I was in a horrible position. Now, why didn't I... Now, now, so what I did, what I did is I called Freedom Hill. They said, you have to save the baby. We have to save the baby. Now, so what I did is I called Animal Emergency immediately. Now, we called Animal Emergency. We had the baby in the car. Now, people saying, oh, you, oh, why didn't you stay there with the mother? What, what do you think would have happened to the baby? What they would have called the the animal abusing farmer? Do you think I'm going to wait there, right, and ask and see if the, the animal abusing farmer will let me take the baby? No, I just made a decision, right, to take the baby. And you think I'm going to wait? Around? Like you, you people, like wake up. Do you know how many more dead and dying sheep they are in, there are in fields? It's stormy and winter. You drive out there in the field. And you go rescue some lambs. You go stay there in, 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 in the farmer's property. And you tell me how compassionate the farmer is to you. You know, like... That farmer had sheep decomposing in that field. Do you think he's going to have compassion and be like, Oh yeah, actually, yeah, you can take the baby to safety and this and that. We would have lost the baby. We would have lost both of them. So, sorry that I'm a bit upset here. But I'm, I'm, just, fr like, I'm just frustrated that people are so like... They, they, they become experts. I was talking to experts. Okay. They told me exactly what to do. And we made a decision. Now, I, I used an anonymous name to report the, the sheep in the field. They said to me, they assured me they're treating it as an emergency. They'll mark it as critical and get down there immediately. Now, I, now what, what, what I assume would happen is a vet would come down there and euthanize the sheep. The sheep was very, very sick. Okay. Now, what, what happened? We called him an animal emergency. I, you know, was very passionate on the phone. I said, you have to get down here. Now, I gave the exact coordinates of where the sheep was. And I uh, used an anonymous name and took the, sh the, the lamb to safety. Okay, but people still like, oh, I can't believe you. I can't believe you did that. You, what would you have done in my position? Waited there for the farmer and the vet and then lost the baby. And, you know, then what? The farmer's an animal abuser, okay? Obviously, clearly, 
it's letting sheep die out there and rot. If you missed that whole, you know, scene with rotting sheep in his in his uh, paddock. Um, but people want to make me feel even worse by saying, oh, you left her out there to die. This is the car. What was I supposed to do? There's no way I would have gotten that sheep over the barbed wire fence. There's no way. The, the, there is no way, and I'm pretty strong, but that sheep weighed about two of me, okay? And we had Tarion, who's only little, you know, and um, I called the animal emergency immediately after getting in the car. Immediately. That was the first thing I did, okay? And we were freaking out. Tarion was crying, okay? And we had a little baby who was freezing and we had put in the heaters on immediately to, to warm the baby up. So the baby didn't die. And we drove for three hours to get to the nearest sanctuary because we're in the middle of the outback where no one was around. Like, do you, do you honestly think that I was in the suburbs where like there was just a vet around the corner, you know? Hey, I could have just walked to the vet's house. There was nothing out there. There was nothing out there. And um, there were fields and fields and fields of sheep, you know, and lambs, thousands of them, okay? And I just so happened to spot uh, this mother on her side. And you know, I just, uh, it just baffles me. I was on someone else's property. I took the, the baby, the best thing, the only, the best thing I could do, you know, to help that baby. The baby is fine now. It's in good hands at Freedom Hill. Thank, thank God for Kim. Uh, cause I wouldn't have really known what to do if I, if, 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 if I left it up to my own devices, I probably would have just stayed there with the, the sheep and maybe the farmer would have came and said, you're not taking that lamb, get stuffed. Because I'm a heartless animal abuser who leaves sheep to die in my field. You know, I don't know. I really don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's a tough situation. But, uh, like, all of you people, all of you experts here who think you know what you would do in this situation. What would you do in this situation? You know, all this, like, just, yeah, it just uh, upsets me, you know, um... I wish I could say, go out there and save all those sheep, all the tens of thousands of sheep out there who are, you know, dying in this storm. Like, I don't know what the number is, but I think it's over 15 million or something. Lambs die every year just out in the field, just from suffer from cold and disease and things like this. You know, it's a horrible situation. But, you know, to all you people who are experts and think you know, like, just... You know, I understand. You know what? I'm going to say this before I finish this. I understand that you're upset by seeing that, and you know, you wish more could be done. So do I. How do you think I feel? You know, uh, I feel a lot worse when people go, "Oh my God, you left her to die!" Like, don't, don't you? I, I used to, I used to respect you. Now I don't. <clears throat> um, yeah, I just feel like that's just so ignorant, man. Eh, like. So ignorant and it's sad, but I, I understand that you're upset. So I'll just leave it as that. You're upset. You've seen the video. I was upset too. Um, I put out the video to raise awareness about this um, and to have a beautiful rescue story so that it, so that people think before they support, you know, the lamb industry and, you know, wool and, you know, sheep exploitation because this is the reality of it. These are tough situations and I can guarantee you if you, if you drive out there in, into sheep fields where I was like, in the countryside, in the middle of nowhere where there's just sheep and no farmers to look after them. I don't know where the farmers are. I don't know how often they check. You'll find dead, dying lambs and sheep everywhere. Okay? That's just the reality of it. So I don't know how, you, how you're going to fix that problem. I didn't create that problem. Okay? I did my best to deal with a bad situation. And um, thank God there's angels like Kim and Freedom Hill out there because... We probably would have lost them both because I would have freaked out and just stayed there and waited and we would have lost the baby lamb as well. You know, it started bucketing down with rain after that and we know that the 
The animal emergency took it seriously. She said, we're going to mark it as critical and we're going to get down there as soon as possible. And I, I, I just think that the, the vet would have helped the, the mother pass. That's, that's what would have happened. Um, so again, just think before you start leaving <clears throat> comments, just based on your emotion, there's a lot more to it than, you know, then I'd cut that video down to five minutes. It was a, we didn't get to bed till 2 a.m. that uh, that night. It was Well, it was yesterday now. <laughs> and uh, still haven't even unloaded the equipment from the car because it, uh, it was an ordeal. But anyways, I'm just going to leave that there. And uh, yeah, just you're, just, you're just upsetting me even more. Like, you know, like I'd... <laughs> Like, what did you, what did you expect me to do in that situation? Like, I'm sure, yeah, if you were there, it would have worked out better, hey? I'm sure if you were there, like, it would have been, you would have saved all the sheep with one hand and put them all on the top of the roof of your car and, you know, this farmer would have had a compassion and liberated all the sheep for you. Obviously not. So, sorry, this is an emotional video. I'm going to upload it because I need to explain certain things and, um... Yeah, there's a bunch of comments on all the videos, just people who are claiming to be experts, but I just don't know what they would have done in that situation. You, you tell me, you know, you know, just walking away with a, a baby lamb and, you know, just wanted to get that lamb. My, my main priority at that point was just to get that lamb to safety so we didn't lose the baby as well. And now the baby is safe with a bunch of other lambs. Who are just like him and it's incredibly sad that situation and what happened to the mum okay but did my best in a bad situation